so um, the stories that I share on this show, mm. I like to think of them as vignettes. Well, yeah, but I give them. I like to bring an eight or a nine out of ten. Well, you can bring a seven or a six. It doesn't matter. You sure? We can sculpt it into a seven point five. Because I got to reckon it's a six. Yeah, that's all right. But and no, my rule of thumb is normally as long as it's not like an old joke. You know those guys oh, you meet and yeah. they tell you a story, then you go. This is not a real story. This is an old joke. Yeah, you just set me up. <laughs> Have you? Uh, I've got one of those actually. Do it at the end. I, I love them. I love those old jokes sort of stories. Um, but when someone tries to pretend that it's not, oh, I stop well, them halfway th- and I go, a, "This is an old joke, isn't it? This is a joke." Yeah, go on. No, I'll do it maybe at the end. Yeah, do it at the end. But, I love it. But, but I don't know whether I'll get into trouble for it. I don't want to get I don't want to no, get No, we'll do it at the end. Yeah, and You're then, not going to get cancelled. I just get so worried about it. You know what? You're granddaded in, as they say about Larry David. Have you heard that term? No. So that's why he can get away with everything he gets away with. Like, have you seen the latest series of Curb Your Enthusiasm? I have seen about half of it. There's this bit where he, he meets this guy and, and the guy goes, yeah, I, I know you. I, I used to be Rhonda. Now I'm Ron. So yeah. he's transgendered. Yeah, yeah. 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 And Larry had previously slept with Rhonda. And so it's just very awkward. And he's, she's like, and so this guy, this this man, who looks like a man, is saying, yeah, we had some great times, didn't we, Larry? You used to lie on top of me on the floor. And he's like, no, no, that wasn't with you. That was with Rhonda. He, he goes, yeah, I am Rhonda. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, but you see, and they reckon the only way he can get away with this is what Seinfeld said, is because he, he started before all those rules were made. And so you started before those rules were made. Yeah. So you can do it. But that I could do it back then, but you can't do it now. No, well, Larry David does it now. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I think you're, 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 grand, well, you're granddad in. I that's think what you're, they call you're it. well. I'm not that much older than you. I'm a bit older than you. But I still want to hear this joke. And if, if I deem it cancelable, we'll cut it out. Well, it's about short people. Oh God! Of course not. <laughs> what, a, you, what dwarves? Yeah. Yeah, no, we'll be fine. We're good friends with the Game of Thrones guy. <laughs> We're not, but Peter Hellier knows him. Uh, and if, it might if, be if, offensive to you. No, oh, about being fat. No. Okay. Uh, I, you know, I'm looking forward to hearing it. We have to wait half oh, an hour, it's, though. It's not my joke. It's my nephew's joke. Yeah, that's all right. So uh, a young Harry, person. Harry. 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 Right. I like, want to hear it. Yeah, what's your story? Story. My six out of ten story. Okay. Up visiting my brother in uh, in Sydney. Oh, yeah. We're both long-distance swimmers. How good are we? Pretty good. You get Pretty out good. in that harbour, yeah? Get out. Yeah, so we get out. We, we had a bit of a swim at Watson's Bay. Oh, beautiful. Uh, and then, um, Can and I then ask, the is, next... the, is the water clean? Oh, it depends on the... T- yes, pretty clean. In the harbour? Pretty clean. But then again, on tide, some, you get a little... I, I like it's similar to the bay in Melbourne mm. where if you get a bit of storm water, yeah, it can yeah, flush out yeah, and it can get a bit dirty. Yeah. But generally speaking, it's good. I swam in the bay the other day. It was crystal clear because we haven't had rain for so many weeks. Oh, wow. I'm a weatherman as well, by the way. Um, we did this swim, which is a notorious swim. It's at Manly where you swim through Cabbage Tree. You go from Manly Beach through Cabbage Tree Bay to Shelley Beach. We walked around to Shelley Beach, swam to Manly, and swam back again. And it's kind of oh, like, wow. a, like a, what do you call it? Not a, it's a, it's a park, whereas, so, yeah. um, what do you call it? Um, the National Park. Na- the water is. The, oh, yeah, yeah, the water's an, a, a, a reserve. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, anyway. yeah, right. So, I swam all the way to Manly, swam all the way back, and, you know, being a bit of a hero, I like to go hard the last 50 metres. Yeah. Like I've been swimming that hard the whole way. Mm. In actual fact, I'm not. So, as I'm going hard, I have a head-on collision with someone swimming the other way. Oh, are there a lot of people out there? Well, there's a few, but I've never had a head-on collision. So and head on head, head, and it was crack, crack. Oh, man or woman? Man. Oh, what happened? Well, we both were stunned, and we both sort of go, "Oh, could that's... you stand up in that water?" Uh, yes, because it was quite close to the edge. Because I was, I was yeah. thrashing the water to, you know, to show how strong yeah. I was. Uh, and, and he had just entered the water. Well, he had started swimming, but he, so we're at full, we're at full tilt. Um, and luckily, I had a, 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 a wetsuit a cap on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he, but he didn't. But it was real, like Are you all right? And it was like dazed. Um, oh yeah. Crack. You know, any like any sort of thing when you bang heads, yeah. you bang heads. Okay, he swims off. I get out. I'm okay. Um, so then we walk back around, we walk back to Manly, we walk up and get the car, we get to bring the car down and then we go, well, let's have a bit of lunch. Let's get a coffee. There's a nice shop over there. Walk into the shop, sit down. Hmm. Guess who's sitting right next to me? The the head cracker. (laughs) (laughs) The guy I banged heads with. He goes, you follow me around? I go, no. 
All right, play the music, Courtney. Yeah. Welcome to Somehow Related Now. Please welcome your hosts, Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. Did you hear a quick swim, though, didn't he? Well, there's, there's the thing. Ours is, yeah, well, he must have. I don't know. Maybe, went, he, uh, maybe he just swam from the start to Manly Beach. and then How long does this take, this swim? It took, it took us about half an hour. Oh, And you just freestyle it? Yeah. It's pretty impressive. You know, well, if you want to say impressive, sure, I can show you photographs. So and can, did you have a chat to him then? You, I mean, you couldn't avoid well, him. Well, yeah, a little bit. Would you? What would you give that story? I reckon that's not bad. I reckon that's like an eight. It's not bad at all. The payoff is not hilarious, but yeah, it's, but it's you know, interesting. You know, comes under the heading of chances of interesting too that you're doing swimming off Manly. I mean, you're not just in a pool. Yeah, you set the scene. Yeah, I think you're being generous. It's very Australian. Could be a movie. If I was on a talent show and we we're all telling stories about our life, I reckon mm. I get the encouragement award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do better next time. Yeah, put maybe add a shark in. Put a shark in there. Well, apparently there are sharks out there. Oh, there would be. Oh, and the swim itself is schools of fish everywhere. It's magical. Magical. I should do it. I'll probably last five minutes. I have to come back in. No, what you do is swim halfway out. Yeah. Loll around for a bit and then swim back, back like you've done the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. that's Like a legend. Yeah. Like a legend would do. Come back on the beach. Yeah. Gr- all greased up. Grease yourself up like yeah. when they swim the channel. Yeah. Um, and you've got to have a, a Garmin watch. That's what they have. It's a Garmin. And you then put your... All your things in, mm. and it tells you how far you swam. Oh what yeah, you right. Did, what your heart rate was. Have you got one of them? I've got one for golf. You got one for golf? Yeah. You need a waterproof one though for. You swimming. can get them for surfing, for swimming, for running, for you know all the all, and then you share it. You can share it. Who wants to see that? People compete, don't they, with their friends? One of my friends shared that with their personal trainer. And they used to get messages: "You're not moving enough. Get up, do something." There it is. There, there's the swim there. Oh, see oh, the wow. red, on the yeah, red, the red that's line. Great. That's the red line there. That's how far I went, how long it took, you know. Um, Can you send that to me? I'll put that on a um, Facebook page. There's nothing personal in there. There's nothing, there's nothing in there that... Uh, yeah, uh, don't send me a dick pic. That would be <laughs> unfortunate. How old was the guy that you hit in the head? Same age. Similar age. Wow. Yep. Yeah. So the old, re- like- old retirees out there, the banging heads. Yep. Oh, that's good. It's good you're doing some physical activity. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to the podcast. It's somehow related, and we get two topics, and we've got to work out how they're related. That's how it works, isn't it? That's how it so works. If yeah. It's Glenn banging heads with some uh, old guy. You yep. Know what yep. The connection is. Yeah. Be how would it be joined by a bit of string or a bit of fibre or in, if, in physical terms oh. would it be a rope? Would it be a road? I think a fibre. A fibre. Or just through the airwaves. Okay. Oh, through the zeitgeist, through, through the, the power of the yeah. universe. Yeah. Okay. I got right. it now. I've got All the vibe. Right. So okay. should we go to topics? Or? Yes. Let's go please. to topics. Oh, I've got to mention too, I'm in, in Brisbane this week. Oh, really? We're doing the powerhouse. We've done that before. A great yeah. room. Yeah, this is the Brisbane Colony Brisbane, one on. of the best capital cities we've got. <laughs> you were struggling for a minute there. <laughs> no, Brisbane's great. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Warm. It'll be warm too. It's lovely up there. We, you know, we we're from Melbourne, so when we go up there, it's very special oh, for us. It's good, yeah, and they they know that, they know that. We've got a six thirty show, so it's good. So that means you, you'll have be, dinner afterwards. And what, then what will you do? Go back to your room and? Well, no, I'll probably hang. I've got a few other gigs oh. and stuff. And the good thing is, when I'm away, I can go and see other people's shows. So oh, Mo- it's a festival. Yeah, there's well, oh. Mooney's on. I'll go see. Oh, I'll go yeah. see Mooney. Yeah, you've that's seen, a great you, show if you're up there. You in yeah, I highly. You'll be the two I'd recommend. Oh, there we go. Mm. And there's other people. Annabelle Crabs up there. I'll go see her. I don't know. I don't know her. Yeah, you know, kitchen I've never cabinet. Met her. Never, yeah, I've never met her. Right. Yeah. Okay. Does she do stand up? She's doing a one woman show. I, yeah, I don't think it's stand up, but it's. Kieran, oh. my wife, went and saw it and said oh. it was really good. Oh, that's so good. Good on her. I'll go and um, I'll go and have a look at that. Or oh, maybe I don't know. I just wander around. Oh, yeah, I'll wander yeah. around backstage. Yeah, just watch out with the wandering around. Yeah. <laughs> Just standing there. Some come, creepy guy backstage. I don't know yeah, you're just standing there. Is it the ghost of the theatre? Yeah. Because yeah. there's about four or five different theatres in that space. So, Oh, hang on. What yeah. was the one we did? Yeah, that was the powerhouse. Yep, yep. 
Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's there's uh, different theaters in that yeah, complex. That, and, and then there's the bar and there's the outside area. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You yeah. know it. You oh, know. yeah. We used to walk there. You staying down the road? Yeah, I'm going to walk there again. Yeah, it's yeah. about a 15 minute, 10 minute yeah, walk. Yeah, beautiful. Down. Yeah, every night walk down there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, again, a bit creepy, walking the bloke walking around by himself. <laughs> Past the bowling club, I used to put my head out. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Mm, yep. Yeah, it's going to be good fun. Yep. Get, on, right. get on the ferry. Is it a ferry? Yeah, the cat. The, the cat, cat ferry. The cat, uh, the cat yeah, around great. Right into the city. Am I painting a picture? I don't you know. are. Yeah. They use the river really well in Brisbane. They we're, do. We don't use our river. No. no we don't. And, well. When I went up to Sydney recently, got off the – they're talking about in Melbourne. I don't want to make this Melbourne right. They're talking about railways and stuff. You get off the aeroplane. Walk straight onto a train. No, it's incredible. 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 Straight into Circular Quay. Basically yeah, walk off yeah. the train. Wait five minutes for a ferry. Yeah, it's incredible. Straight there. Incredible. Perfect day. And we, we got the Sky Bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, they're fighting. You know what they're fighting about? We'll get the topics in a minute. Oh, look at you. Here fighting. we go. Political, yeah. Dave. No, no. It's not, it, this, is pol- this is politics. They're fighting about whether the... Train station at Tullamarine in Melbourne is going to be underground or above ground. Now the airport want it underground. The government want it above ground. Well, it sounds like an episode of um, Utopia. Utopia. Yeah. Mm. What would you prefer? I think underground's I think better. I, I think underground's better. I, I think the airport are concerned it's going to affect their parking too. Of course, that's big business. That parking is there. is the airport. Oh God, I can't believe. Is the airport Tullamarine? Is that a private yeah. concern? Yeah. Yeah. Was it ever a public? I don't know, but it's definitely owned. It's, it's, I'm sure it's private. I looked it up. So once. therefore, they go. We don't want it like this, and and mm. they're. Mm, I think it's a hard one, isn't it? It's a hard one. Uh, when they you go to bring... politics, you would solve, if you go in, you'd solve it. Dave O'Neill would come in. Why don't we have it halfway? <laughs> Let's compromise, guys. Yeah. I think underground. I mean, obviously, underground is more expensive. Once you put something underground, it's automatically more expensive. What about a uni? Is it a uni rail? What do you call the ones on the air? The a sky rail. Sky rail up to the in- edge of the plane. Whoa! Get, so you get off. It's a good idea. The train straight look a little walkway. Oh, plane, and it's one ticket. Sky rail. Sky rail. Hey, now you're thinking. Yeah, I think it's like the box. Come on, guys. See, um, politics is easy. Easy. What are our topics? I wonder if Sam will give us a political one now. We've been talking about this rubbish. Charles Darwin carbonated water in a jeweller. Wow, a three-way. I haven't had a three-way with from, I should well, say, well, hang ever. on. Ever. Yeah, look out. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had a three-way from uh, Sam. Sam. Yeah, for a while. For a while. We had. Do we ever have a four-way? Yeah, we did once. Yeah, it was pizza and three celebrities. And they were all oh. pizza delivery people. Is there, do we have um, to take a different tact? We've done Darwin before. We did Darwin and Satan, I remember. Oh, did we? Um, there was what some, was the, do you remember what the link remember, was? I can't remember the link. I don't know. But um, so we can, we can skip over Darwin. No, no, let's just go over the major points. Well, so he just came up with the... Um, Not just. Evolution of species. Survival of the fittest. That wasn't his... They weren't his words, but he was like... We came from monkeys. So in other words... What bit of you do you think would survive and what bit of me would survive? In other words, you've got to pick something good about me that oh. evolution would go, oh, that's good. I'll go for my... Yeah, swimming skills. Oh, of course. Now, why would you survive? Don't know. Your eating skills? Eating skills, yeah. <laughs> good <'Cause>, cook. <laughs> because you can't... You, well, you, you have to survive. You, yeah, well, you I've know. got a lot of weight on me. I could just last a bit longer than you, maybe. Oh, so in other words, you would, you would survive the Great Famine. Yeah. Where I wouldn't. And you might not. No. But I would swim to get the food. You swim to get the ocean fish. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we'd work well as a team. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what he believed that we all came from the primordial swamp, didn't we? We all. Oh, like a slug. Yeah. We came from a oh, fish yeah. into a. Isn't, isn't that how it worked? I, 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 just, I remember right, the illustrations yeah. that I remember. Um, yeah. And. We came out of apes, but as people always say, why aren't all the apes evolved? Well, they were different type of apes, yeah. but there were different types of humans too. Yeah, and yeah. some of them became extinct. Remember, they there were the vegetarian ones that the meat eaters fought well, with. There you go, the Neanderthals and the Homo sapiens. Oh, so you're good. You look at history. Uh, I read, like a, a, read a comic book once. A comic book for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> Vegetarians didn't last. No, nah. no, nah, but the meat know. eaters did. Yeah, they did apparently. Yep. Yeah. And that's why they're. That's why because of their our, our ability, teeth. their teeth, and our back molars, and our uh. were developed. But then we started to eat processed foods, and that's why our ability to breathe through our nose became subdued because we 
the Neanderthals had big nostrils. They did. And really good teeth. And they had plenty of room in their mouth for their teeth. Yeah. We started eating softer food, mm. so we didn't have to bite bones anymore. Mm. And and so it, it's reduced. So in the future, we'll just have little holes. Yeah. For straws. For straw. And you tell you what, there'll be a paper straw. There'll be no good. Yeah. You're a straw guy. No, you'll have an actual I straw. I love a straw. but It'll I, be connected to your mouth. I've spoken before. Yes. I've spoken yeah. before about my hatred of paper straws. So um, I love a straw. Yeah. Now. Um, so have we ticked it off? Yeah, it's enough on Darwin. Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin. Love your work. Did he write a book? Did he? Yeah. And what, and what period was it? Oh, I don't know. He went to Galapagos Islands and just had a look at all this. Was it the middle eight, eight, no, eight, yeah. eight, 1800s? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon. I did not. Oh. Sort of pre-Captain Cook around that sort of era, wasn't it? Around that time? Oh, let's not. Oh, I can't well, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's the same time. But look. Look, the boats look similar. <laughs> well, that's, that's well, enough of evidence there. pictures of the boats and stuff. Yeah. Like. Um, so Darwin, Cook, all those blokes hanging around doing some pretty good work. Yeah. We, we dips our lid to you, Darwin. Charles? Would you, if you met Charles Darwin, would you call him Charlie? No, Charles. Or would you call him Mr. Darwin? Yeah. I, I, I would call him Mr. Darwin, I reckon. I think his dad was a doctor. Yeah, I think he's he was agnostic, I know that. Yeah. Which is let's get it right. Not an atheist. No, that that not religious. Undecided. undecided. That's why he because a lot of the fighting that goes on in terms of this stuff is things that are done in terms of religion mm. rather than mm. um so All right. agnostic means you believe in something but you just don't know. It you believe yeah, yeah you believe which is what, Oh, hang on. We've so, never, have we you talked are? about believing in God? No, probably. You do? No. No, I don't either. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's the lightning Uh-oh. strike? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, should we talk about carbonated water? Oh, God, I thought we were going to talk about God. Nah, it's not, it's not God. Carbonated water? Carbonated water. Okay. Oh, fizzy water. Let's just okay. drink some. Got some right here. So, is that, what is mineral water? Yeah, that's carbonated water, but, what, I mean, so is soda water. But That's what I got today. The, you know, it started off with just fizzy water, and then they added flavors to it, like lemonade and ginger beer. Yeah, add, add, add in its carbon gas put in there under pressure, isn't is it? Is that what the Soda Stream does? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you got to wait till it doesn't go <laughs> anymore, and you know that's. Have you got a Soda Stream? Yeah, we got one. Yeah, I'm not very good at it because I don't think I t- turn it on. I don't tighten it up enough. Mm. <laughs> And then it's very satisfying because it blows back a little bit. I, you know, I love a bit of fizzy water. I don't think it's good for you. Though. When when you're in in Europe, they go sin gas, con gas. Oh what? yeah, 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 yeah. Bubble, um, bubbles or no bubbles? Sin, yeah, bubbles or no bubbles? bubbles or no sin bubbles. gas, con gas. So, what is it about bubbles that make water more in, more uh, it's a good enjoyable? Question, good question. I don't know. Does it? It makes it feel like. A little bit of a party in your mouth. Yeah, fuller, kind of. If you had a choice, sparkling water or normal water, what do you choose? I usually go sparkling. Yeah, so do I. Because they, what do they go? They go Table, tap, 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 bottles. Yeah, sparkling. Whenever you have gas, it feels a bit more special. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So then they went. We'll add gas, and then we'll add sugar, mm. and lemon, mm. which is lemonade. lemonade. Then they went. Hang on a second. If we put in a whole lot of other stuff, mm. like Coca-Cola. Ginger beer. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll put these chemicals in that make it taste really like, then we'll make black water. I know who invented I know who invented it. What? It's a very famous name who invented- Coca-Cola? Carbonated water. Oh. Have a guess. I mean, there's a few people dabbling in this world, but the guy that, very famous name, famous name still associated with uh, carbonated water. Schweppes. Yes. Well done. And why did I know that? It's I don't know if he was a doctor or a Mr. Mr. Schweppes. And okay, here's another. Oh, okay, I'll tell you how I know. You read it on the back of a bottle. No. What country is he from, Mr. Schweppes? Where's he from, you reckon? Uh, some Northern Europe. Yes. No. He's from Switzerland. Yep. And of course, I only know that because my brother lives in Switzerland. And so he, he was the guy who took bubbled water to the world under the Schweppes brand. Oh, that's a good story worthy of yeah. this podcast. Yeah. And you just said it. Yeah, he... Oh, good Schweppes. fact. Good he fact. moved to England. So that's where the connection may be with Darwin. Maybe he hung out and said, what are you working on? Oh, you're doing the evolution of species. I'm doing bubbly water. Oh, yes. 
It's kind of not the same. No, it's pretty well, good. I reckon they'll still be talking about me, <laughs> Shreps, uh, in many years to come. And uh, there'll be a reference to you, but you know, the evolution of the species, not that interesting. But people will be drinking me, my invention, for years to come. And then Darwin goes, so what, you reckon they'll be talking about the uh, Schwepper essence, will they? <laughs> <laughs> and Shreps goes, I like that. Can I write that down? Yeah, all right, mate. You can have that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been working about how humans came from apes. Yeah, whatever. whatever. I'm trying to get bubbles yeah. in the water, yeah. mate. Yeah. Maybe they yeah. shared a lab. Maybe they shared a lab. And yeah. Yeah. at lunchtime, they said, "What? Are you, how's, it, how's the old evolution of species going? Yeah. But I reckon Darwin would have stuck him one day and shook all these bottles up. Yeah. Shook them all up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Go on. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. And, and old Shreps comes in and they all explode on him. You yeah, know. yeah, 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 yeah. Would you like a bit of fizzy water with your lunch there, Darwin? No. Um, so you like yeah, I Coca-Cola. Like Diet Coke. I, I remember um, where, where one day my brother... As you said, black water. It's not, not going to be good for you. Well, well, I, I, hate say, always, I, always, I hate saying that when people really enjoy it. I always repeat your quote to the kids and stuff. It's black water. It's black water. Well, so is, so is tea. Oh, yeah. But and so is coffee. I'll drink some right now. Yeah. So what happened with your brother? Tell me the story while I drink my Diet Coke. Yeah. Yeah, people love a slurpy noise. If they're misophomic, uh, whatever that word is, when you make a drinking noise, they don't like it. You know what happened, though? The, the bottle of Diet Coke fell on the ground with its lid on, and now it's not as good. It's, it's it, blew it, all its gas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nothing worse than a bit of flat lemonade or flat oh, Coke. no good. And especially if it's a bit warm, you go, oh, gee. Oh, but get a bit of chill. Get a bit. He was having a burpee competition. Oh. And he sculled some Coke and vomited. Oh. <laughs> Over the, the counter in the milk bar. Oh, no. Because uh, I can't burp. Did you know that? At all? At all. I can burp on command. Oh, hang on, I'll command you. Ready? No, hang on, I'll command you. Okay. Okay. I command you to burp. <laughs> Not bad. Some people can. Some people can burp the national anthem. You would be a person that would enjoy a, a carbonated beverage every day. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. No, oh, no, because I don't drink hot drinks. So, oh. yeah, you have your coffee. You have caffeine. Is that got mm, caffeine in it? Yeah, that's got Diet Coke. Does so it give you a little razzmatazz? Yeah, I like it. But yeah. it's, very, it's bad for you, apparently. i got to say, the other day, we were somewhere and we had some bad food and then we had a Coke. And you go, i got to say, I get it why people drink Coke because I. Once I started drinking that, I couldn't stop. Yeah. So there you go, Coca-Cola. Cut that bit out and put it in your ad. Once yeah. I started, I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. Because Coke adds life. Yeah. And especially through a straw. And but I I don't like the slurpy noise at the end when people are sucking through the ice. If it's oh, from okay. from a you know you know that noise. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I get annoyed with the way people drink from bottles. Oh, okay. Because here's the thing. Yeah. Get your pens out. Yeah. When you raise a bottle up, yeah, like I do now, you have to have a small gap between the, see that gap there, yeah, between the the circular bit and the top loop, allowing air to go in, so you can continue to drink. Ah, oh, okay. As as opposed to mm-hmm. just putting that thing tight to your lips and sucking in. Oh yeah, I get it. Right, you'll get a limited amount, but if you. <laughs> Yeah, you can't do that. I say to I say to friends, I go, don't drink like that because you can't. And they go, and they, and they go, don't suck, don't. You got to let it flow, yeah, right. and let some air go f- from the top lip. Jeez, God, you're a bit annoying. Because <laughs> I slap the bottle out of the. Out hey, of well, before hands. Glenn gets here, don't don't drink your <laughs> don't drink your drinks in front of him. All right, have you drink? Don't, yeah, he gets really annoyed. Drink out of a glass. All right, are you is shh. It's like that. Shh. That sketch. Maybe that's what Darwin had a crack at Schweppes about. Uh, I don't like the way uh, you're drinking out of the puddle. Remember that sketch we I, we never wrote, but the, when the Heimlich first invented the Heimlich, yeah, and they all went out for dinner with him, and they, everyone's going, "Don't, don't even you know, choke, yeah, choke, because yeah, yeah, he'll yeah, jump yeah, the table and try yeah. to do the. Heim- he's showing off with his new Heimlichs every week. The Heimlich it's maneuver, really embarrassing. Um, so then that whole industry hmm. is Massive. got to be. One of the biggest industries in the world. Yeah. You can go, my twin brother, who's just been mentioned, went all around the world. He still does for Red Cross and other organizations. He says, you can get a Coca-Cola everywhere. Like he said, it's bizarre. But he goes, you can't get clean water, but you can get a Coke, he reckons, everywhere. What was the first podcast we ever did? Fanta and Nazis. Even Hitler. Yeah. Wanted to have his own version of it to put out, so he made up Fanta yeah. to send out to the troops. Fantasy. 
please don't get me wrong. But they say that soda in the US has got a lot to do with oh, diabetes and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah there's a lot of sugar in them, heaps of sugar. Are there any drinks out there that don't have sugar in them? Well, you get plain soda water or plain mineral water. Yeah. What's your vibe on tonic water? Oh, it's it's a bit. No, I don't no, like no, it. No, 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 no. And dry ginger don't like. Oh, it. you don't like dry ginger? No, not really. Do you no. prefer a ginger beer or a ginger ale? Well, I lo- I'd love ginger beer, but it's too sugary. Oh, okay, we'll get ginger ale. That's bit, that's is not it? As, yeah, ginger ale is not as sweet. I like uh, ginger ale. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, no. Mm. So I, at the moment, cheers. Can you hear that? Yeah, I'm drinking a soda water mm. with two pieces of lime in there. Mm. Not cordial. Because often they think, yeah, oh, you want soda and lime. They whack in a bit of cordial. Yum. Makes it better. No, that's my drink du jour. Yeah. Which I know you drink that sometimes. Too. I do. I like it. Yeah. I like it. And of course, beer. I like beer. I don't mind beer. I had a beer last night, but I only really drink it from the tap. Not direct. I get a glass. <laughs> but I like, you know, I just, I'm old school. I like, you know, Carlton United from a tap or Great Northern or just one of the. Because you know, the worst thing for me is when I go to a warehouse in the inner city somewhere. And there's a lumberjack behind the bar. Yeah. And he goes, do you want a beer? We make it all here ourselves. And I always go, that's not a good thing. <laughs> this one, why is that a good thing? This one's got a hint of watermelon. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, yeah. I hate all that. Yeah. I like beer just like normal Straight beer. Straight back. Oh, I like a normal beer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't mind beer. But, but people re- think I'm a teetotaler. They think you're a teetotaler too. Yeah. Both, we've both been labelled as teetotalers in the comedy industry. But I'll have like one or two beers a week and that's an... I don't drink it. I'll tell you why. Because you drink mainly a, in the car. A, I know. In the car. In the car. Down the park. <laughs> down and you, the I'll just park. tell you the trick. You put it in a brown paper bag, yes. and no one knows what you're doing. So you I know it's a good trick. Do. No, I find it. I get it like oh, a blow frothy, you. Yeah, blo- it blows frothy, you. Like a dr- drunk, you know, mm. washing water or something. Um, it can help you um, empty out your system, though. You know, flush you out uh, a little bit. Well, people used to, in the ye olden days, people would drink. Beer because it was yeah fermented and um, processed yeah so, yeah, so, so therefore it didn't have all the you know all the cholera and stuff in it yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah in the middle of evil ages they used to drink yeah. more beer than water yeah yeah and oh, nowadays good old days. sadly we drink bottled water I know when we go, what the fuck is wrong with us bottled water that's such a, I looked I looked it up once the where it started and it started in England bottled water. They started bottling the water and selling it. It was spring water, though. So they thought it had good. You can still go there to the place where they started bottled water. But uh, I mean, we live in Australia, and you know, all around Australia, the, the tap water is. Oh. I mean, Melbourne is fantastic, unbelievable. Hang on. We need a little in brackets, apart from Adelaide. Anyway, we'll keep. But it's not. But in Adelaide, Adelaide's got better. It's, it's got, got better. better. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We we're lucky. We've got great water. All right. Well, let's talk about a jeweler. Jewelers are impressive, though, when you see them. Do their work. Not, they are not, not that we ever see them, but to do that fine, I'd be terrible at jewelry because it's that fine motor skills. Isn't oh, you'd it? have the you'd have the special glasses. No, no, I'd be no other oh, special glasses. Uh, yeah, and you. When I was a kid, that's the, what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a watchmaker. Really? Yeah. But then yeah. you end up just changing watch batteries. You know, <laughs> oh, boring. Oh, uh, I think watches are beautiful things. I got a watch. Yeah, I don't wear a watch anymore. Oh. You're part of the new generation. Oh, man. Um, well, kids know. don't have watches because they've got the time on their phones. Yeah, and also, too, I'd like to also not, hey, man, I don't want to be connected to time. Time is just a unit of space, man. Well, that's annoying for people that are relying on you. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you were late today? Yeah, man. Sorry, dude. I'm I was just getting into the universe, No, man. the universe was letting me go. Well, I need it because I'm a comedian, yeah, stand-up yeah, comedian. Yeah. So I, And these young guys that go on and do too long, Yeah. then I'm like... You Learn only, how to read a watch, dickhead. No, or I don't have a watch. We'll get one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, what? Because you can't really look at your phone on stage. This is a bit awkward. Yeah, but just get a watch. I mean, in my day, they used to have a red light. Oh, they do that too. So, but not all places do that. Yeah, they kind of, you know. So you have to sort of step out as the host and go, "Come and get Come on, on with mate. It. Do your funny joke and get off. Do your closer." So, jewelers. Yeah, I think let's start from the top down. You can wear. Things studs through your eyes. Yeah. You can wear nose. things through your nose. Yeah. You can wear things through your lips, yeah. through your cheeks. Yeah. Necklaces. Yeah. Necklaces. You can wear something through your belly nipples. button. No nipples. Yep. Cool. Whenever I look at anyone oh. with a nipple, nipple piercing, ring, nipple ring, Oof. I go, good, good luck. 
to you. I mean, I don't, I don't judge it. I go, I hope that's making you feel good. But when I look, I, I just feel a bit of pain because oh, yeah. I just think, no, no, I just think, surely it catches on a towel when you're drying yourself. Ooh. Oh, surely. Belly button ring? Belly button ring. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Now we're getting into the bejangles. What is it called? Bedazzled. What was that thing called uh, where people would yeah. adorn their... Um... Genitals. Yes. Oh, what's um, that one called? Prince, Prince Albert. Albert. Prince Albert for the men. Yeah, which is through... Oh, let's not even worry oh, about where it's how, through. How, how painful. Hang on, I'll have a look. I'll tell you yeah, what it's show us. Oh. It's always hard when you go through the airport. <laughs> Goes off. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Don't worry about what that is. It's not a gun, all right? <laughs> Anywhere down there, whatever is tickles your fancy, you can well, uh, mail a fem- female. That's where the piercing st- Oh, you can have like a, a toe ring. People put yeah, rings toe on rings. their toes. Yeah, yeah. But you got, then you, we haven't got that there yet. Oh. Hang on. Oh, the hands. We'll go, we'll go back over to the wrist. The hand, the wrist. So you got your bracelets, your watches. Rings. Your, uh, would you, are you a bracelet guy? No. I, I, it's funny because you know that for a period there, people were wearing those rubber things with some sort of statement on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When I wore them, I went, uh, feeling pretty good, feeling pretty good with my little bracelet on there. But now, but I reckon if I wore a bracelet now, I reckon you'd go part of you'd go, uh. yeah, nah, nah. When I see guys with, I got on a plane the other day. I won't say where these people were from, but his arm was covered in silver jewelry and rings and everything. And I just went, oh, I guess it makes him feel good. Yeah, there's a bit of bling. They like that kind bling, of bling. Bit of, yeah, and, and those big rings and, you know, Elvis gave me this, that sort of. And, and watches, for some reason, I don't know whether there's so much now, but if you had a big watch, you were, it was. Yeah, the Rolex. Yeah, a status symbol. Yeah, absolutely. But it had to be big. You're going, yeah. surely you want it smaller. Yeah. You know. Um, <laughs> sorry, I just thought of that old joke. What's that? All I'll do is he pulls out a watch and goes, Happy birthday to you. I can't. Oh, no, don't make me tell the joke. I'm not <laughs> going to. remember it. People will remember it. So don't make me tell well, the joke. Well, you pull the joke, Happy birthday to you. That's the tag. Oh, don't, I'm oh. not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Well, go on. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Okay. It's it's a, it's it's a, it's a, it's a watch me up the bum or something. Yes. Yeah. They, oh, I know it. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> Sorry, um, I don't know why I brought that up. No, no, no. So inappropriate. So you've got no piercings or jewellery? No rings. I used to wear a necklace. Shark tooth? Yeah. yeah. No, um, um, no, and I reckon for a period I wore my bronze medallion, swimming, whatever. Whatever. Anyway, so we're going down further. You're right. You can wear you can wear little chains around your ankles. Yeah. And put little toe rings on. Yeah. And they're made from silver, mm-hmm. gold, mm-hmm. platinum. No, Probably copper. Probably. Copper. Know. And to make jewellery, you have to heat metal. Yeah. And then melt it and mm. then make it into something mm. and thereby adorning your body to make you look desirable. My wife always says, beware of men wearing jewellery. Well, that, this is my point. Yeah. What do you think? I just go, does that look good? And some guys, I guess it does. But well, what about what about when you see a rock star? I mean, wasn't there a guy that used to have bangles for every every time he'd had? Oh, really? Yeah. In, uh, relations. Yeah. One yeah. of those heavy metal guys. Yeah. Like the guy from Aerosmith or something. Yeah, they, they all seem to wear bling, don't they? Those, they do. And those it's, rock and, stars. And, and, and I think sometimes it makes people feel all something. The, all the rappers do. They all wear. So. Without it, they feel naked. Yeah. Yeah. Like I know a friend of mine. He had to put on his, you know, his silver bracelet and his. Watch oh and, yeah, and yeah. Put it makes on the them, ring. Makes yeah, them makes feel like a uniform, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it makes them feel like they're you. Because when they're off, they go, oh, mm, you know, oh, no. there's a place for it. Yeah, I don't know. But, what um, but I'm not a jewelry there's guy. A, there's a place for it, and that's called the over forties nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when hey, those really? Because yeah. this guy got on the plane had a really thick, chunky bracelet on. Yeah, right. And I remember that period where that the there was a period when I back in the seventies, mm. the thicker your bracelet, oh, the more tougher you were. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I remember there was a period, and then round your neck. Oh yeah, remember yeah. those thick ones? That, yeah, and the criminals would wear. Now bikies, do bikies wear jewelry? But yeah, some, a bit of jewelry. Yeah, but like yeah. Chopper and all those guys used to wear jewelry. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of yeah, like bling kind of. Yeah, and then there's oh, it's bling. Oh, and, and the, the teeth. And the teeth. Of course, the teeth. Oh, that's scary when you see someone like that. Is there oh. a new frontier? Is there a piece of jewellery yeah. that we could make up on this show that hasn't been... Is there a frontier on mm. the body that hasn't been done before? Up the bum. 
<laughs> I tried it once. And yeah, it, it's, it, no it, 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 it's no good. It's no good. Where's my bracelet gone? <laughs> I'm experimenting. I'm experimenting. Special with bracelet. The, uh, special bracelet. Close to the entrance. Where is it? It's there. Just close, grab it. close to the entrance. Thank pull you. it. Pull it. Pull it. Thank you. Hey, Kate. easy. Pull it easily. Ow. I think. I think it's. Well, you, you think it's all been done, then it has. Then you go. Then they like. Oh, you know, like Sting used to hang out with the. Um, Amazon tribal guy with a big ring in his mouth. You know? Remember those rings they put with uh, the big plate ones? Ma- yeah, maybe that's the next thing. Oh, and ears when you but they get their ears done and then branding, they, some kind of branding. The lobes get pulled right. Yeah, down. and those the, the guys who put the punches in their in their earlobes. Yes. And then when they decide to take them out, they've got a droopy hole hanging off the side of their head. Uh, Nothing worse than having a droopy oh, hole. They want a droopy hole. <laughs> yeah, maybe they'll take something from primitive cultures. Maybe that's the, yeah. next, the next thing. Is there any part that has them, oh, the no. back of the knees? Bum cheeks. I think I've even seen people do the back of their neck. Oh. Tongue. The we didn't tongue. talk about tongue. Oh, the tongue. Re- oh, that'd be terrible. I never, the tongue's very sensitive. I've never understood what the tongue is. It meant to help you with the, you know, the, yeah, the business. I think so. But, but how? A bit, a bit of cold metal. Oh, I don't know. Like, like a ball bearing running up and down. It's like someone uh, d- using their car keys when they're having sex with you. <laughs> uh, There's know. an analogy. Yeah. Well, I think we've talked about jewellery enough. I think we have because, we have. because we're very inappropriate. Um, um, should, should we have some thinking music? Yes. Okay, what can okay, we have? Charles so Darwin. Charles Darwin. Is there a movie about Charles Darwin? Yeah, there is. Uh, carbonated water. Well, we could do a Coke ad. I like the Sprite in you. I like the funny things you, you know, do. Uh, I like the Sprite in you. Diet Coke, just for the taste of it. There's one more. This is my favorite. Can you Diet pick it? Diet Coke. Right, that Lead lemonade. Oh, oh, man. Oh, Solomon. Oh, 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 and I'm coming down. Hmm. I'm coming down the rapids. I think that's um, Joel Creasy's dad in that ad. He's not. Yeah, his dad was an actor, and he's one of the solo men. He's in the one in the kayak where he goes down the side of the mountain. That's, that's the one. That's and Joel Creasy's it, dad. And then he just goes, he goes, so Joel Creasy, the comic, that's his dad. That's somehow related in itself. Got yeah, Joel Creasy and the solo. And, yeah, and solo. it's true. Yeah, um, good get from you. Well, let's let's play it. Yeah. All right. Extra tangy lemon solo, light on the fizz, so you can slam it down fast. Solo lemon, the first crusher. Solo man, Joel Creasy's dad. I. I could see a likeness. Yep. Okay, so what's your guess? Okay. So let's Charles just, Darwin. Charles Darwin. Carbonate. Carbonated water and, and jeweler, jewelry. Jeweler. Charles Darwin, not only did he get the whole evolution thing, and this is pretty bad actually, he worked out that using carbonated water, you, you could clean jewelry. <laughs> wow. You I can think, clean your ring. I think the kick. <laughs> well, you can. You can drop. Can't you drop jewelry into into coke? But it is yeah. the chemicals that does it, isn't it? Yeah. You drop a penny in there and it cleans your. Oh, apparently. Apparently. Yeah, no. You know. You know. I used to do that joke when you when you were a kid. You put twenty cents in the in a glass of coke and it. No, the coin would disappear. That's what they used to say. The coin would disappear. And I said that just proves your little brother's a thief. <laughs> so I used to do the joke. Great. <laughs> Classic. What's oh, your What's your answer? Oh, I'm going to say I think it's related to Schweppes. Dr. Schweppes or whatever he was. Maybe he was a jeweler. Maybe that was his job. Who was? Schweppes. Schweppes, yep. And he had, I don't know whether Darwin, I think he, I think. They we hung were, out together? I think that Darwin had something to do with Schweppes. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I reckon. But how did he get the jeweler in there? I don't, well, no, I think Schweppes was a jeweler. He was a jeweler. I think he was, yeah. Only because of my and brother's Schweppes from and Switzerland. Darwin. So the link between Darwin and Jula is only know. via via um, Schweppes and the carbonated water. Okay. All right. Well, what is the answer, Sam? Jacob Schweppes was a jeweler and scientist, founded the world's soft drinks industry as he was the first to invent the equipment capable of carbonating water to a level that matched or exceeded natural mineral waters, and in the quantities necessary to make his water commercially viable. When Schweppes bought his company and product to England, he needed help to promote it. Erasmus Darwin, Charles Darwin's grandfather, was instrumental in launching the company. Oh. You have been listening to Somehow Related with Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. That's a very 
tenuous link, really, because it's not even Charles Darwin. It's Erasmus. <laughs> Imagine being called Erasmus. We should bring that name back. Yeah. Erasmus Darwin. That's um, a good name. Well, but I've got to say, pretty impressive. And if you do that one at a dinner party, you probably you want to listen to it again, what Sam said, because you want to get it get, right. Get the sweeps out. Yeah. And say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Is everyone enjoying their bubbled water? Let me tell you something about uh, it. Mr. Schweppes, who was a jeweler. Isn't it bizarre that he was a jeweler but oh. dabbled in bubble force? Yeah, but, you know, he was a man of many talents. Maybe the jewellery yeah. thing hadn't taken off. He's like, oh, he just can't sell any rings. Well, I reckon he just had a little room out the back and he would tinker around. Tinker around with water. And then, and then, and with jewellery, I mean, he could have he could have ended up being like Michael Hill from New Zealand and having a very yes. big jewelling. Um, Proud. I've been to his house, by the way. You've been to Michael Hill's wow. house? Yeah. Yeah. Proud's the jeweler. Proud's. What's the one they have the, the the Australian Diamond Company? They have the billboards in the city. Oh, I remember those guys used to come uh, uh, in the city yeah. and has you and it's like yeah, yeah. You know, if I want a bit of jewellery, I'll go to a shop. I, I'm not going to. It's not really a spontaneous buy. That's no. the thing. I don't know if they realise that. And what about those guys that used to set up a little card table and go, all right, what we got here? Yeah. Hello there. Yeah. Who likes who likes uh, after Hello, show? Hello, ladies. Just That's for you for nothing. Here. That's just for turning up. There's that after show for you. <laughs> and uh, what you like? So you like oh. socks? Do you like so? How many pairs of socks you got on? You go on one. Put your hands up if you like. To brush your hair. Who likes brushing their hair? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I like brushing my hair. Well, there's a free right, brush. Well, there's, there's a free brush. There's two brushes. Now, if you want to so. sign up for the brush and uh, shoelace kit. Um, okay, so what's your joke? You're going to give us a joke, remember? Oh, okay. okay. Come on, here we go. Okay, well. So this was done to you. It was done to me. Oh, well, then do it to me. Okay. So three, uh, this is from my, uh, my nephew, Harry. Okay, well, okay. there you go. Um, uh, three short people mm. sitting around. Mm. <laughs> I love yeah. it. And first one goes, I reckon I've got the smallest hands in the world. Oh. The other guy goes, oh, well, that's interesting. And he goes, it's funny you should say that. The other one goes, I reckon I've got the smallest feet in the world. Oh. He goes, wow, that's really interesting. Oh. And the third one goes, well, you'll never guess. I reckon I've got the smallest penis in the world. Oh. So they go, I'll tell you what. Why don't we tomorrow go down to um, Guinness Book of Records? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you know the joke? Yeah, yeah, keep going. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you get us book of records and we'll check in and see uh, what the reality is. So mm. they turn up the next day, sitting in the waiting room. Okay, guy comes out. First up, small hands. Small hands goes in. A couple of minutes, walks away and goes, ha ha, smallest hands in the world. Wow. And another guy's going, oh, that's great. That's really uh. good. Okay, small feet. Small feet gets up, walks in. A couple of minutes, walks back out. Smallest feet in the world. Yeah. Thank you very much. Smallest feet. Okay, small penises. Oh, it's me. Goes in. Waits a couple of minutes. Walks out. Shaking his head going, no, nah, no. Nah. Who the fuck is Dave O'Neill? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a classic. Uh, and true. And true. <laughs>